Never could take a joke, that one. But, now that she's gone... Let me just say, thanks, again. For saving Hitsuki, I mean. She really means a lot to me. She might be a real reckless idiot, but she's still my kid sister. And she owes you her life. I won't forget that. Don't worry, you're fine. Everyone's a novice at first, but with effort comes experience. As with all things, one must be willing to try. So go on, give it a shot. Dupe yourself into trying the life of a bouncer. Um, I don't really think... Look here, I'll even let you have these used soaring blades of mine. Remarkably easy to use at a fabulous discount. Okay, this sales pitch is getting weird. Besides, I'm not in ARCs, so I doubt I can vibe with being a bouncer in the first place. Hey, uh, a little help here, please? Oh, perfect! I see this charming young lady is an acquaintance of yours? All the more reason for you to become a bouncer. After all, this fine class was established by our great friend here. Really? Lies. Saga, I need you to work with me here. I can't abide a lie. <clears throat> it is no exaggeration to say that our great friend here helped make bouncers what they are today. Hmm. Really now? R really? Right? Now that you mention it, you're right. Oh, I'm sure you must be ready to blush after hearing that, uh, Saga? Yeah, more accurately, it was myself and our friend here, though. Saga? Hmm. It's safe to say that awareness of the class has spread through Ox as a whole now. No lone entity was responsible. We must recognize that our friend here did their part. Katori, likewise, had an influence. Saga? Wait. Had an influence? That sounds so feeble. Sis, what does this all mean? That woman is a liar, I think. How could you? Those two aren't members of Ox, are they? You're getting yourself into trouble for no reason again. The same as you always do. I won't try to stop you. Much like Katori's PR activities, you won't stop helping people no matter what I say. Sierra, what's your job here? sudden curiosity coming from, Al? My sister and our friend here have to travel to Earth and fight and stuff, right? That's their job? They do. Yeah, that much is true. You don't need to go down there, Sierra. Isn't it your job to stay here and chat? <laughs> oh, when you put it like that, Al, it sounds like I just sit around here all day gossiping about nonsense and slacking off. <laughs> Thanks for backing me up. Listen, Al, I've got my own sort of work to handle. What is it? My formal title is the Administrative High Cast, specializing in calculations. But my main job is to regulate and operate the Ark ship. I run things so that everyone here aboard the ship can live a pleasant life. And I see that all Ark's operatives stay up to date. You've been doing all that? It really didn't look that way. Ahem! It's not very nice of you to say, but no matter what it might look like, I swear, I'm always hard at work! Right, but aren't there Arx Ops in the field at this very moment? Shouldn't you be providing support and whatnot? <laughs> you underestimate me. 
Low-level parallel processing like that? I can handle that while we chat. Piece of cake! I'm just as good as Xiao when it comes to admin calculations. He has beat me everywhere else, though. Besides, being here to address all of you is part of my job, too. A previous overseer, a photoner, didn't concern themselves with the people here. Instead, using them as pawns. That's why everything fell apart. A person's mind and soul can be weak, easily broken, but it can also become a brilliant, powerful weapon. I'm overseer now. I too am a person with heart. I'm not here simply to provide data, but to converse and assist on a more personal level. And that's why I'm so chatty. Now come on, gather around everyone and let's spill some tea. That spiel would have been a lot more convincing without that last bit there. You're by yourself. What's up? Oh, I know. You came to see me. Whoa, the life of a famous idol is tough indeed. Kurt, frankly, it sounds half-hearted. I'm a little hurt. Oh, I know. Maybe this getup will deliver a surprise or two. Well, setting your face to stunned, it's been a while since I showed this side of myself. In fact, I've more or less retired it. At Kasra's suggestion, I became Lieutenant of the Intelligence Bureau. It's just a title, though. Cover for glorified paper pushing. If I am to be honest, when you returned, I was scared. I wondered if one of my side effects might cause you to forget about my existence. Thankfully, it didn't. You remembered me, as did everyone else. Now, I no longer need to force myself to fight. I am glad that you've returned. And, above all... I would much rather sing! and put smiles on everyone's faces than fight. That's what I love doing most. The People's Idol Kuna is immortal. See you at my next concert. What? Whoa, 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 what? An odd one draws near. And not for the first time! Gosh, I sure am jealous of you. All these strange people, where do you even find them? You keep making all these wonderfully weird friends. Could you share him with me? I get a wonderfully weird vibe from him that really, really makes me want to light him up. Hey, uh, what's her deal? I'm Risa. I am. And it sure is nice to meet ya! Y yeah I'm Enga. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> I see you're being cautious. It's okay. I won't do anything to you. By the way, you use guns, right? Sniper by trade? What makes you say that? When you became cautious of me just now, I noticed your legs tensed up first. It appears you want a distance between us. You didn't move an arm muscle, though. You're not someone who holds their gun at the ready. You create it yourself, don't you? You can tell all that just from a handshake? <laughs> a sniper needs a sharp eye. Being able to discern when something's off is the most important ability to have on the battlefield. Terribly sorry. I was just so happy to meet someone with the same scent. Hence the babbling. I'll be leaving now. 
I want to shower those strange phantasms from Earth in bullets. So, so many. I can't wait for them to die. It's a disgustingly pleasant sensation. And indescribably unsettling. <laughs> So, uh, is Arx one of those places where the weirdos run the show? It's Ica. Right, right, Ica. Hey, it's been a minute, Ica. It has. I never would have imagined the next place I'd run into you would be aboard the Arx ship Enga Yasaka. Well, it's been, what, like, a year since we first met? I was still living on Earth at that time, so probably about that long, yeah. To answer your question, I told you how the Earthlings and Arcs have always been in touch, right? Well, there you have it. Back on Earth, I took advantage of Earth Guide while I handled things, and one of its members was... Me. I lived right by the school she'd infiltrated. Anyway, she went to this school called Sega Academy, see? Just so happens to be the sister school of Celestia, where I went to school. A whole lot happened there at Sega. I haven't forgotten any of my time there on Earth. I really cherish the memories. I guess it was fate that brought us here again like this? At any rate, it's always reassuring to have a friendly face around. Here's to more good times together, Aika. Yes, may our partnership be fruitful. Hey, long time no see! Even after two years, we're still number one in ARCs for Intel! That's right, it's us, the twin sisters, Patia! That said, we've met you in the city a whole bunch of times, so that greeting probably wasn't necessary. Today we've got something to tell you, and only you, about some intel we grabbed. You see, Patia is always first on the case with the big scoops. And we got in contact with a suspicious member of ARCs. Well, we already knew something suspicious was going on, and that it was being caused by access from Earth. But anyway, before we knew what was going on, we wound up interacting with someone from Earth back when, when you were still in cryosleep. You know, to tell you the truth, I knew something was fishy right from the start. Whenever we talked to them, their mouths would drop wide open with a flabbergasted look on their face because they were so taken aback. That's just because you were doing all the talking, rambling on and on at them. I mean, doesn't everyone you talk to react like that? That isn't true. Our friend here always really listens to me, right? Right? See, I know. That wasn't particularly convincing, though. Yep! It gives me great job satisfaction as an informant when I have someone listen to me. Well, as you can see, nothing has changed on our end. By the way, Patty, do you have anything to report about our visitor from Earth? Any observations as one of the first to interact with them? Huh? Hmm, right. To be kind of blunt, they aren't that different from us. It's difficult to tell them apart. Yeah, actually. Even though Patty didn't have much to say on the matter, what she's saying is right on the mark. Their fake avatars are so perfect that we can't distinguish them on looks alone. At least, that seems to be the result of the analysis by Arx. That's why we need to look into everyone who's recently joined Arx really thoroughly. You know, with a fine comb. Leave no stone unturned. Even if they are able to falsify their data, if we interact with them in person, they're bound to say or do something unnatural. With that in mind, maybe even Patty's brazen manner of approaching people isn't entirely pointless. Gotta be first on the scene for the freshest news! That's the Intel Broker way! We'll continue to keep you informed. 